made a mess of my living room, but for the first time we have gotten our whole trigger input relay system actually working as it sits right now. We have a pole with four buttons on it that will be painted different colors in the future. So to trace how the whole trigger input system works, we start from the button press, which makes the light fade or do different things. That signal goes into this relay box, and all that does is uh, disconnects or reconnects the ground if channel 1 is on or off. And during our musical sequences, we don't want our buttons to work. Therefore, we have channel 1 off, which makes it so the trigger buttons don't work. Now, during the trigger button sequence, channel 1 is on, which closes the circuit, which makes it so the trigger buttons work. From there, the signal goes into our Lionorama control boxes, which all now have trigger input boards that have been added into them. From there, it goes back to the computer running it all through our controller. Uh, this is the USB controller with the booster. It actually works a whole heck of a lot better than this one. Uh, the one with the uh, booster in it, when you press the trigger buttons, it responds a whole lot faster. Um, quick, simple, short pushes like this, you know, just, just tapping it, wouldn't work with the other uh, adapter as well. So that's why we definitely have the booster set up here. I don't need the booster due to the distance, but on the website, the specs actually says that this adapter is a little bit faster in changing from sending and receiving, which apparently is something I need. We plan on using two computers for the show. One computer is going to be running our trigger system, and one's going to be running the actual show. And this one's going to be responsible for turning channel 1 on or off. This one is just going to think the triggers are always there. It doesn't know when the show's running or not. So that's why the show computer is actually responsible for turning the triggers on and off. We do this because we want our trigger buttons to have sound effects on them, but we also want music playing from the normal show at the same time. That requires a mix of two computers. And all we're going to have is an Ethernet cable coming from there and going into here. You can mix Lightorama controllers on the same network right now. I hope they don't get rid of that uh, feature. I don't think it's an intended feature, but it just happens to work. And pretty much all of our connections for our trigger buttons is just all standard Cat5 cabling. I have a uh, wiring mess right now. I know none of those wires match up to the standard order that they should be in, but it's an order that I currently understand. So that strobing effect is our show. Now the show is off, the trigger circuit has closed, which now has power running through it. Now if I press a button, the different effects will happen. They're all pretty much the same right now, but they will do different things. I plan on adding some sort of a little light bulb or a C7 bulb here to tell you when the trigger buttons are actually active. Right now I'm just using a voltmeter to let me know that. And the battery on my voltmeter is low, that's why it's saying it's 150 volts. It's not really. <laughs> I'd be concerned if it was. So, just a simple overview of how our show will become slightly interactive this year.